There are five things you need to know about the new Callaway Paradigm AI Smoke. Number one, it has a sweet spot that spans the whole club face, which is known as AI Smart Face. Two, micro deflections on the club face may result in 11 to 12 yard gains in some cases. There are three different models all aimed at different golf swings. Four, surprisingly, it will retail at a lower price point than its predecessor. And the final point is there is one noticeable key technology missing from this lineup that will come as a huge shock for many. And we will, of course, go into all of those points in detail very soon. I'll also share with you my trackman data see how these performed in my hands but before we do any of that we just go back inside and talk a little bit about the way these new drivers look the name for me this extension of paradigm paradigm ai smoke bit of a mouthful bit too much for me and i don't really understand what the smoke refers to in the reference of the name either it doesn't make a great deal of sense to me Visually, just a bit too much going on on the bottom of the club in terms of the text and the fonts, but all minor details. The actual main body of the underneath the club, the bit that is seen sat on the rack, I think will divide opinion. It's a very unique look that Callaway have adopted into this new lineup. All other aspects in terms of the, uh, the underneath the club, the sole of the club, the blue uh, accents, the sort of chrome, the high polished chrome, really looks nice it's definitely a quality finish and quality build as you'd expect from a product from callaway then you turn it over and perhaps the more important bit is what you're looking at at address now each of these drivers we've already said have got different shapes but essentially the crown themselves in terms of what you're looking down at is exactly the same and it's a um, again a very high gloss finish with a matte front element to it in terms of the face and what separates the sort of face from the crown it's it's okay, it's not my best looking driver at address and it's certainly not my worst. The whole thing for me is just, I'm a little bit on the shelf with it if I'm perfectly honest and I wouldn't be buying this product based on the way it looks. It's gonna have to perform really well to persuade me to put this one in the bag. But something quite unexpected is missing from the AI smoke lineup and that is jailbreak. Jailbreak was the technology that Callaway had built so much around in recent years and the new AI smart face just does not need it. And that weight saving can be distributed elsewhere within the driver head. So how does the sweet spot work and what does it mean for golfers? The AI smart face was built utilizing data from real golfers, 250,000 swings, 50,000 face iterations resulting in a different face type for each of the three models. This is the best graphic from Callaway that suggests we will gain 11 to 12 yards from heel and toe strikes compared to the last Paradigm model. This is due to what they call micro deflections within the new AI smart face, which are working like a pinball machine to deflect your strike towards a straighter ball flight. This technology is leaning less on MOI and more emphasis on the face to assist with forgiveness. The question is, does it work? Today's video is sponsored by our friends at Hot Golf, the online golf retailer for all major brands. And if you want new golf gear, then please support us by supporting them. One notable thing is the sound is, I think, quite a bit different than what Paradigm was, which became really muted. That was a triple diamond. Straight away, huge difference in ball flight going from triple D into just a max. Totally different launch and you see where the spin is so, so different between the two. And again, that draw bias. Just takes me down the left hand side, but uh, immediately the three are very, very, very different drivers uh, out here on the course, just with three alternate shots. You can see straight away how they differ. And unfortunately, this is what uh, testing golf clubs looks like in the UK right now, because we didn't get out in these conditions then. Well, quite honestly, we'd never got all these reviews done. But in reality, this is what golf looks like for a lot of us. So yeah, some pretty awful conditions today, but some huge differences between these two, three drivers, 
which I'll show you later on in this video when we start to discuss the trackman data. Oh, that's a triple D which, like I said, sounds a lot firmer. It could well be that the one missing piece of technology behind this club face is the bit that's changing the sound so much. That's solid. That's bullet straight, hasn't moved. Again, yeah, I'm making sure that's the max. Just a really consistent ball flight where I'd want it to be. That's okay as well. It wasn't the best of swings. Um, and travels what seems to be just as far. So that's the interesting bit and the whole concept about this new AI smart face. Well, if you can see, and we'll bring the camera up close in a minute, just where that ball came out of, there could be an element of truth there just in that one shot. Water's just dropped straight over it, but essentially it's come out of this area here. Now for me that's really interesting reading because essentially we've got three balls that are separated by, well from the back to front, maybe 10 yards at most. I've collected a lot of dry ball data which we'll look at very shortly, but in reality this is what you want to see, or at least I do anyway, because literally nothing really separates the three drivers in terms of distance, you've got three different faces all intending to do different things but in distance they've done virtually the same thing virtually the same carry or the roll or whatever they finished in the same situation the difference is how each of these clubs gets the ball from a to b and by that i mean how they launch the ball what sort of spin they're generating but ultimately they're ending up in exactly the same position well they are for me at least and that's on two lots of drives because we didn't film the first lot but essentially exactly the same result yeah, that's the best of the day. Do you know what, oddly enough, and the, probably the product is not really aimed at me, that's a triple D, I've always started with that one. That's again gone right down the middle. Lovely ball flight and uh, quite surprising just how much I'm liking that at the minute. Again, always with the D, always just taking it down that left-hand side. That's been pretty consistent as well. And obviously it's a draw by a striver, but for me, just a little bit closed on the face. Interesting again where that ball position is in terms of where I've struck it, much more towards the heel, still carrying a long way. That story about the giant sweet spot, I'm certainly testing the theory, and on the D product at least, that's proven to be quite possibly true. Oh yeah. I think without doubt in terms of even out here, the standard max product is the sort of most stable for me in terms of performance and in all honesty I've spent a couple of hours indoors on Trackman it tells us a lot about data but in nine shots out on the course I feel like I've learned a heck of a lot more already in that limited amount of shots and it's just real shame that most people can't get to try a club out on a golf course because it's so different from that simulator environment but F3 really consistent Results. Let's maybe start with that data. What it tells me is that the max was best suited to my swings, but all heads perform well in terms of efficiency. And as you can see, Smash Factor tells us that the driver is exceptionally good in transferring my club head speed into ball speed and all other parameters were fairly stable. But I should be clear, this is the heat map of my strikes with each of the different driver heads. Now, we weren't exactly testing the extremes in terms of hugely off-center hits, but all things considered, each driver face did have some variable strike locations and all performed equally, which was surprising. Right, so to give my summary on this new lineup of Paradigm AI Smoke, I've come out on the golf course, different one, we're up in Scotland, I'm on Gullen number three, and the shots that you see me hit, or perhaps see me hit already, around this golf course, Interesting enough, when I had the decision to make as to what driver to bring out on the golf course and, and test out in a bit more detail, I went for the triple diamond, which is a big surprise. It's not the one that's really aimed at me, but I really like the performance out on the golf course as I did in Hollywell, as I have done today. And maybe from a numbers perspective, it wasn't quite the best performing, although that's debatable. But I like the smaller profile, neat head, sounds fantastic. I love the fact that we've got a lower price point. The debate for me is the fact that 
we've kind of like we've gone to a position where if we need that much forgiveness and don't forget i've already proven that perhaps we do we're starting to rely really heavily on the performance of a golf club instead of our own sort of swing dynamics is this possibly getting to a stage where it's too much forgiveness or is that absolute nonsense but either way i certainly believe that i've tested plenty enough of this face to suggest that i kind of like the idea of ai smart face and I possibly think Callaway are onto something special with the performance of these drivers. Anyway, that's me done. Simple and straightforward. I'll pay coast closer attention to each one of these drivers individually in the coming weeks. But for now, that's me done. I'd like to hear from you, what your thoughts are in that comment section below, and I'll see you all soon.